Welcome back to another video, guys. Um, in this video, I show what an M3 style bumper insert looks like on a non M3 car. And I also installed an aftermarket, cheap aftermarket, shall I uh, add, a diffuser. I never knew what the material was made out of or what. Later on, I did a little bit more research, found out it was made of PVC, and it was actually a very cheap, cheap type of diffuser. I think I paid maybe like $60, $70. A real diffuser goes for maybe $150 to $250. It just varies on what company. I did find a really good company that makes diffusers and they're made out of uh, metal. And I think I'm gonna end up running one of them. I'll leave a link down in the description to what I'm looking into. I haven't bought it yet, but I definitely think I'm gonna go with a more metal style diffuser versus like a PVC or like just cheap kind of, as you can tell, you know, that uh, is very cheap material and it's not something you wanna be running on your car. Um, out of my experience, I'll just let you guys know, it's not worth it. Just pay the extra money. That's gonna save you time and money in the long run. Um, so just enjoy the rest of this video. I'll kind of go into more explanation here in a bit, but I ended up removing it, got destroyed after some time. And, uh, yeah, now I'm, now I got just the little M3 insert kind of style and rocking that for now. So I had to record this. I'm removing these, uh, pro tuning LV. This is made out of PVC. Apparently it's like a black PVC and, uh, it was a whole diffuser, but both ends ended up breaking off. So it didn't hold up too well. Oh, well, this middle piece broke off too. I think it just comes with time and heat. I don't know if it doesn't hold up well because of that, but just wanted to film that. Just unscrewed a couple of little things, but now you guys are updated on what happened to this diffuser. If you guys ever see it in a future video or this will probably be a random clip thrown in somewhere just so you guys aren't lost on what's been going on. So this is an M3 little like rear diffuser and it started getting pulled off because of this heaviness. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the rest of that one and we should be good to go. And there she is guys everything removed i readjusted this because it was slipping out now she looks a hell of a lot better without a broken canard sitting on the back eventually i'll get an actual aluminum one or like a carbon fiber one if i could find one but that'll be way down the line least of my worries i just wanted it to not be dangling and flopping everywhere and there you guys have it hopefully you guys did enjoy that video moral of the story don't cheap out on parts i cheaped out that was my dog in the background, by the way. And hopefully uh, it taught you guys a lesson as well through my experience. I'll leave a link down in the description still to that part that I ran. That way, just in case you were like me, I didn't have much money, but I still wanted to do something fun with my car. And honestly, it was still a fun project nonetheless. A uh, waste of time to some people, you may see it. Might be something for you to do, and it might be warmer in your area. I live in a place where it snows a lot, it gets cold a lot, hot, cold, hot, cold. PVC is kind of like a harder plastic, and you know, harder plastics, brittle up in the winters so enter at your own risk i'm not telling you to go buy anything don't got a gun to your head so please go and buy this stuff at your own risk obviously and do your own research on what would be best fitting for your build and more suitable for you of course and for your budget as well um but i'll leave k2 industries link to their diffusers they're more reasonably priced and they're in the ballpark of 150 to 250. They have two different styles of diffusers, a street style and a track style. Um, so I'll definitely be giving those a whirl soon and I will have a video up whenever that does happen, maybe a couple months from now. Yes, yeah, stay tuned guys. Thank you so much again for watching, like, comment, all that fun jazz and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Until then, keep it real, peace.